Hey, today's the day we take this thing and chunk it. Because it don't work. So we're going to replace it with some good stuff that does work. So let me get my crazy glasses off and, uh, hey, go mad find scientists on the frugal fixture job today. Let's uh, tear into this thing and get into this DC motor and put in this DC controller and show you all how it works. Let's get it. put these new parts in. First, let me show you what all we're going to put in it, and then we'll figure out a way to get it all in there. We need a SCR speed, speed controller, basically, is what it is. And then we need a rectifier, and then I need a switch to reverse this thing from forward to backwards, because I need my machine to change directions. And other than that, a couple of wires and hook it up to my DC motor, and it should work. So, uh, let's see what happens. And also, I've got another potentiometer for here that's 200k to replace this one because this is probably 470 I'm thinking so we'll have to see if that doesn't work and doesn't start up when we want it to we'll change it out and put the other potentiometer in right there so hey that's what we're going to do put all that in the old total turret here guys so yeah. we're going to peel all this stuff off get it opened up peel it open it up and lay it in a good position and get it done we're going to unlock it right here and then you can take this here and raise this up. Now, what we got to do is we got to get in here and get a hold of these wires that are in here and hook them up to go to the new machine. So let's get that done, okay? First thing we got to do, we got to remove all the treadmill components because none of that can get to us anymore. Okay? So we're going to start over. This is the two motor wires right here. Ha <laughs> ha. Got one, see? Now let's pull this. The rest of the way out of here, out of the way, and get it out of the way. So we were trying to use this, and it's fine, this part is, but the control board, like I said, goes to that pile over there. Now, we got to have these two wires going to our rectifier, and our switch, well, actually our switch, and then we can go from there to feed everything else. So, um, down here in the bottom, it's still got this choke. I'm thinking I'm going to keep that for right now, because... I'm understanding that it might help make this thing run a little smoother to leave it in there. So we're going to leave it in for right this minute and see what happens. coming in, I got common coming in, and then I'm going to bring common out. So I'm going to loop them together right here in the box. Sometimes they got four terminals, sometimes they only have three. This one's a three. So you tighten that up, make sure it gets good and snug. Don't over tighten it, and make sure everything's tight. Good there. Now we got one more wire to run. We got to plug this one in to the AC terminal. We're going to keep sticking in this one right over here. On that, and we got one more wire to put in, which will be from here to here. Now, once this works, we'll, we'll wire up the reversing switch to make Okay, now, loosen the center terminal up. Plug in the wire for that. And tighten it up. Now we got speed control here. And we got this wire, which is our AC going to the rectifier. And it marks the AC here. So AC on the rectifier goes here and here. So these two are AC, and then these two come out DC. So we're going to hook that to that. And when we hook this thing up, it should be ready to go. Just like it is. So let me give this thing everything a look. Make sure I don't have anything touching anything it ain't supposed to. None of that kind of stuff. Okay. 
Uh, like I say, this here is this might need changing, so we're gonna have to see what it does. So yeah, we should be in good shape for that. We got the rectifier hooked up to there and there to there, and then the cedar. We should be able to turn it on, get it to go, see how much it goes, and we'll be able to tell from that. Now, I've got a little method I use, guys, when I want to do a test like this. I put this cord down on the ground and put my foot on it, okay? I'm going to plug this one in. If I need to jerk it out, i got my foot on it to hold it down to jerk it out. Now, smart first smoke test comes out okay. I don't see any smoke. That's a good smoke test. Now, I'm going to keep this cord in my hand in case I need to pull it like this. So I got it ready to disconnect. But let's see. mercy guys okay we got to change this with this having to turn look at this I'm having to turn I'm probably three-fourths of the way around before it does anything and I think I'm gonna run another wire off of it to where it goes up there where we can put the switch up there in another better place instead of it being sticking out this stupid box so hey let's get that done we'll go in the shop and where it's a little warmer and uh Get that done, and we'll come back, wire that, move that, and yeah, get all that done. Hey, we on the move. I like the way it sounded. It was fast. It was zipping. Uh, we just got to get it to where it's more variable, and it needs a different potentiometer to make that happen. So let's go tear it apart and see if we can get one in it. I mean, here on the workbench, I need to open this thing up, and uh, what, how much trouble it's going to be to unsolder or take out that potentiometer and replace it with that one. Shouldn't be that hard, right? I don't have to worry about scratching the finish like a guitar. Shouldn't be, but just two wires, I think, or three at the most. Should be able to just move them. Heck, right, they're only using two. Look at that. Now that's a 500k, two ohms. Okay, let's wire this sucker back up. See what it does. Okay, I'm ready to see it run, y'all. Y'all want to too? I'm sure. Got the wire right there, and I got these right here. So I'm gonna park the power in, just like we did last time. And the neutral. And there. Oh. Neutral from here, neutral from my rectifier, into that same connector, common, get in there. The voltage out going to the rectifier. Now we got red and black going to the motor, black and white going to the rectifier. That should have everything. We got power here, got out to here, got two neutrals tied together, and we got the potentiometer on this on this so when I turn this up and down it should turn the speed up and down on the motor so I'm gonna turn it all the way down now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug us up just like I did last time nothing goes crazy I'm gonna lay it down and step on the cord and get it in my hand so I'll be ready in case something goes wrong and we're gonna hold this potentiometer here so we don't break the wires off of it and see if it starts moving sooner Oh yeah, I just barely broke it that time, look at it.
Oh yeah, look at that. put a tachometer on it and find out because I want to know. I'm going to mount this switch and then we're going to figure out how fast this thing's going. Let me uh, pop that out. I don't want to electrify myself. Now i got to get this found someplace to mount this and the tachometer and the switch. So I'm going to pull back and get working on that and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. Hey, this controller here is smooth as a gravy sandwich. And that's what we're going to do. We get it that way and keep it that way. So, hey, we're going to keep working here. We're going to get everything mounted up. We'll be back to you in a little bit to show you how it come out. Okay, guys. It's back here. I'm fixing to wire up this reverse switch on this total shop that I work rebuilding. So let me show you what I got. Here's my red and my black going to my motor. And like I told you a minute ago, I'm going to hook it to these two, ter two center terminals. And these two are going back to my rectifier to get my DC voltage. So let's uh, get these put on. And we'll have this thing put together, man. Now we're going to put one on one side and one on the other, and it don't matter which one goes where. Tug, tug, check, 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 check. Okay, and these two are my hots that feed this switch. We're going to get the switch and take it up here and shove it in the hole it goes in right quick, and then we'll work our way back out. Okay, let's fish this up here and go where it goes and then we'll work our way back out. Okay? Okay, guys. I just finished redoing the controls in the digital shorty and well, I'm more than happy. So let me show you what we got going here. I put the rheostat right here where this is, and I'm going to put the, when I get this made like I want it, I'm going to put it on here like this so we can use this to turn it up and down. But right now we'll use this knob and we're going to turn it up a little bit, and there it goes. I've been getting around 300 at the bottom. And then it comes up a little bit, but then we can crank it on up. with the standard control. But after I change the control down in it and put the new SCR and the rectifier and everything in, we got it where it goes this. Y'all ready? What? so I could use the tool on that side, I done this. Simple as that. Tomorrow we'll put a load on it and see what it does. We've got one of these guitar tops. Try that out. But it come out pretty smooth. I need my new switch because my other switch went bad. But other than that, I'm uh, thinking I'm going to like it. So 
Yeah, we'll get the knob changed out, put the old total shop knob on it, kind of look good. And uh, we got this, so we don't need to put any markings on it. And uh, hey, it's going to be all good, guys. Hey, thank you for following along. Catch us on the next one, and uh, no total turd's going to go to work here and make some more guitars here real soon. We're in the middle of doing a remodel on this old shop. Dust collection and dust collection system and dust collection on the radio alarm saw and... But I got to, oh, I got to add a table to that drill press, and what else is it? Oh, I got about 10 things on the list, so I'll never get done. But I'm going to keep working at it. So, uh, hey, y'all guys be good, and remember this. God loves you, and so do I, and we'll see you on the next one. Later, guys.